Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Down to Earth Astronomy. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can improve your VR experience if you're using the Oculus Rift. Um, and also I'm going to uh, to show you how I solved one of the problems I have had in one of my earlier videos with the narrow field of view when recording um, Elite Dangerous. And so this is going to be both an Elite video but also a general um, Oculus Rift video. Um, and just as a comparison here before we start, this is the new with the extended field of view and if I switch to the old one, this was the old view. As you can see it's very narrow, you don't really see that much of the screen, but with the new setup it is a lot better I think and I hope it's gonna make for uh, more pleasant videos for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna um, talk about a little very neat program that's actually part of the Oculus developing pack or software developing kit. It's a free piece of uh, software that you can download off the Oculus um, uh, homepage. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if uh, we go ahead and open up uh, a folder, you see I already downloaded the Oculus software developer kit. Um, and part of this uh, package, you'll get some uh, some tools, and you'll especially get a tool called the Oculus Debug Tool. I already have it open here. Uh, let me find it. Here it is. Um, and this debug tool allows you to display different kinds of uh, debug information um, if you want to. But that's not really what's interesting. The interesting part here is the pixel per display pixel override. Um, and if you change that to, I would say, st two, you can think it's somewhere between one and uh, and two is probably good. That means that you will, once you start your games, they will be um, sub-pixel sampling, meaning that it will actually compute more pixels than can be displayed on your actual headset. And I've tried this with Elite Dangerous and it improves the image quality a lot. I mean, I haven't noticed pure image quality before, um, but after I improved it, it's just so much clearer and everything is so much sharper. So, and and this will work, I assume, with any um, VR game. I haven't tried it with Elite Dangerous uh, for now. Um, but again, yeah, you just have to open this tool after you opened up your Oculus Home app on your computer, but before you open the games. So make sure that you have your um, Oculus Home app open um, and all the games are closed. Open up this tool, um, change this to two. What I what I would recommend, um, and then open up your games, and you should see some significant performance uh, increase, at least graphical wise. Um, of course, this takes some more computing power, so you need to have proper graphic cards um, to do this. Um, so that was a general in, uh, enhancement of the image quality. Um, now to the actual recording. Uh, of Elite Dangerous and what I did to change the field of view. So the problem is that normal, normally when you open up Elite Dangerous with the Rift, you get a small window um, on the screen that is basically a mirror of what you see in the Rift. But the problem is, as you saw earlier, if we jump back into the Elite, that the field of view was very narrow. So what I did is um, I poked around at the forum and um, what people did back before this window was actually introduced into Elite was they forced Elite to render the game in a window as well as on the Rift back when it was still in development. And you can use that trick again to actually um, make a second mirror um, to uh, to display. And if I, if I open up the a small file here, if you go into uh, your uh, app config XML. This can be displayed in several folders. If I find, here we go. This is my uh, my C drive. So for me, it, this was because I installed Elite through Steam. This was located in the Steam Steam apps common uh, Elite Dangerous, then products, and Elite Dangerous 64. And in here we have the app config XML. It can also, if you installed Elite 
through the the launcher uh, downloaded through the, the the Elite Dangerous website, it can sometimes be located uh, in I think it's users, then your username, uh, app data, local, and then frontier development, and then sometimes it could be in here, or is it the other one? I don't know why I have two of them. Elite Dangerous. Sometimes it could be in here as well. That depends on how you installed the game. But for me, it was in the other folder. Um, and in here you see, if you open up yours, you will see that I have added this uh, stereo extra display. And what the display essentially is, is it displays just one eye on what is on the actual rift. Um, so that means that we actually get the full field of view and not this narrow crept field of view. And you can then capture that. I use OBS. Um, so you can then capture that window and crop off the top and the bottom because of course it's not in um, 16, 19 resolution or aspect ratio, so I have to crop off top and bottom, but in the end, I think, now we're back in the game, I think the result is pretty good. Now, one small note though, if you're going to do this. So right now, I am actually um, rendering the game both through my Rift, then I have the normal client window with the narrow field of view, then I have an extra window with the wide field of view, um, and I'm also recording the game at the same time. This is putting a uh, um, a massive constraint on your system, um, so you need to have some proper equipment if you're going to do this. Um, I'm running um, an Intel i7 uh, 67K overclocked to 4.5 gigahertz, um, and then I have a Gigabyte uh, Gaming Extreme um, NVIDIA 1080, so it's an overclocked 1080 basically. Um, and it's, ca it's, it's capable of doing this. I'm not seeing any stuttering. Um, and maybe a little bit on the buttons. I don't know if you can see it on the recording, but it's a little tiny, tiny bit on the buttons when I, um, when I look down. Um, but again, I think for recording purposes, I can live with a little bit of stuttering because most of the time I'm not going to be recording. And when I'm not recording, the game runs smoothly. So that was um, that was it. Just a quick update on VR and Elite Dangerous. I'll put link to all the relative uh, relative blah, 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 what's the name relevant websites web pages down below in the comments. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you found this video informative. If you want more videos like this, give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, um, and also next time I'll see you in space.